Hi YouTube, it's Chris, K2CJB with K2CJB Radio. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're on the road. I'm heading up to the ARRL New England section ham fest and convention. It's been a while since I've been to a ham fest, and of course, I think that holds true for most of us. I'm also looking forward to some of the seminars they have at the convention. So we'll be on the road for a little bit, and I hope to do some uh, HF radio while I'm on the road. I'm about halfway there. I turned around 20 meters, turned around 40 meters. Not a whole lot of activity out there. There is a contest this weekend, and um, I heard some signals in there in 20, uh, you know, working the contest, but um, not strong enough to give me the confidence that I was going to be able to make a contact with them. So, we're still on our way. We've got about another half hour to go. Uh, parking lot A area is basically full. So if anybody's listening, they should uh, go into parking lot D area. Well, that means we're pretty close. And I know I have to go to parking area B. Well, we finally got here. Uh, the ARRL website had the wrong address posted. And the signage outside this place really isn't great. But we found it. The first presentation I want to see is until noon. So I have about an hour. I'm going to mosey around the flea market first. A typical site at a ham fest, their tables just full of gear and stuff. Uh, some people come in in their RVs <laughs> so they can set up camp. Here's a beautiful TR-7950. I had one of those radios years ago. It was like a tank. Um, yeah, some other cool stuff, some Heathkit gear in the back shelf. Here's an old, an old boat anchor here. Somebody might recognize it. Here's our friend from eCars. I made sure to tell him that I checked into that net a couple of times. Beautiful Heathkit gear there, too, at that table. We have the phone patch in the front. Do you ever think you'd see a Collins KWM2 sitting on the floor on a ground in a parking lot? <laughs> I had one of these, a Drake Sea line Fantastic radio. Beautiful. Tables full of books, radios, cipher machines. Anybody familiar with that is? I wasn't sure what that was. Here are a couple of rigs that I actually thought were old CBs, but they're actually six meter rigs. There's another old two meter rig that some of the older ham radio guys might remember. A Heathkit Apache receiver. And this guy had tons of audio gear out there, mixers and old other boat anchors. Um, nice uh, Kenwood mic in the middle of that. There's some beautiful Heathkit, uh, old SB series gear. A national receiver, shortwave receiver. Had one of them in our high school radio station. And of course, if you need any connector on the planet, they had it there. This is the first um, seminar I went to. Uh, Mindy, KM1NDY, gave this on portable radio operation, which many of you who've watched my channel know I'm into. This is the vendor section of the ham fest. Uh, it was in this kind of this big room. You see in the middle of there is uh, Quicksilver had they they took up probably the biggest chunk of real estate for the vendors. A couple of clubs had their tables set up. Um, but here's just a little walk around the, the Quicksilver table. They had all their power pole, all sorts of connectors, antennas, cable, um, the little LED displays that they make for power supplies. So um, yeah, great guys. I, I've purchased a bunch of things from them through the years. Another great uh, seminar I went to was the Go Kit Basic. Steve Davidson gave this one, um, really full of great information, and he actually brought his uh, Go Kits in to show us how he had them all put together. So all in all, it was a, it was a pretty good day. A little difficult getting here, and I have to say, they, another criticism I have is they ran out of food at about 20 after one. <laughs> it's not a good thing, not good planning there. Other than that, the presentations are outstanding. The flea market was good. Lots of boat anchors out there, but it was good. Um, I did score something in the flea market, and that would be this Dentron Junior Tuner that I plan on uh, giving a test and taking out in the field and see how we do with it. The vendor part of the show, um, not a lot of vendors. The biggest one there, as you saw, was Quicksilver Radio. Of course, my friends down in Meriden, Connecticut, and I did get something from them. I picked up a replacement 40 meter ham stick. So that's a wrap from the ARRL New England convention. Actually, this isn't a wrap. I uh, have to apologize to somebody. I was, as I was walking through the halls of the Hamfest, one of my subscribers stopped me in the hallway and introduced himself to me. It was really neat. We, we had a nice 10, 15 minute conversation talking about ham radio and about YouTube and, and, all the, and a bunch of the videos that I put up. So the faux pas that I committed was that I didn't take his name, call sign, or even have a picture taken with him. So I couldn't include him in the video. So if you're watching this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to make you famous in the next, <laughs> the next video that I do. <laughs>
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, make sure you give me a like. That would be really awesome. And if you really like the channel and what you're seeing here, consider subscribing to it. That way you find out some of the other videos I put up. I've got a couple of projects that are in the works that I hope to have up really soon. So again, thanks for watching. And until next time, 73 from K2CJB.